scientific process, the cost of the operating observatory by overestimating it by more than a factor of two. Hey. Hey. Claims that light pollution is a problem for research here when it is not. Yeah. That claims that you can no longer do useful research here when our research ranks among the best in the world with re resources that have been consistently withdrawn from us over the last 15 years. Yes, that's exactly what I feel. Yesterday I had a chance to consult with my colleagues in the Department of Astronomy who want the Institute, and I must say that I also support the development of the Dunlap Institute. I was part of the planning process that led to that, but I was not part of the process that decided to close the observatory emphatically not. And my colleagues, many of my colleagues at the university, offered me help in saving the observatory and expressed their disgust at the way in which the university has acted, the incompetence that they have shown in this process. It is truly shameful. <laughs> now, with now, with deepest apologies to Martin Luther King, who I deeply revere, this is my I Have a Dream speech. <laughs> I have a dream of this land as a parkland, with trails through it, with interpretive signs, uh, with uh, both for the natural history and the history of the site, the cultural history of the site, I have a dream of an observatory operating independently of the university with a realistic size, technical and scientific staff that can build new instruments and do even more impact research than we are doing today. Yeah.